And welcome back, Interior Sports fans. Mike Fussell here with your latest local action. We have a lot to talk about today, but first we want to make a quick clarification. The Ice Dogs' first home game of the season will take place tomorrow at the Big Dipper, as usual. It will not be at the Patty Center, so make sure you head over to the Dipper if you want to catch the action. All right, and in high school volleyball, the West Valley Wolfpack welcomed Monroe Catholic into their gym for an interior matchup. The Wolfpack went into the game without a loss and kept it that way by the end of four sets. West Valley got off to a hot start, winning two right off the bat. The Pack took those 25 to 18 and a close one 29 to 27. The Rams would use their set two momentum and grab the third 25 to 21, but it was not enough to make the Wolfpack fall. West finishes the final set 25-18 and takes the match 3 to 1. West Valley will play North Pole on Tuesday and Monroe will be competing in the Grace Christian School Invitational this weekend. And high school state tennis is just around the corner and some interior athletes are expected to make some noise on the court. Take a look at who's going down to Anchorage. Brackets are out and the scene is set for the ASAA high school state tennis tournament. It's been almost two weeks since interior teams duked it out at regionals, but now in boys singles, Jared Lees from West Valley got the top seed of the state tournament. Currently, he is undefeated in the Mid-Alaska Conference, but Lees is yet to get a state title. This year, Lee says he feels stronger than ever headed into the big weekend. So I'm pretty confident heading in. Um, I think the most confident I've been so far um, the last three years before, I think I'm more confident this year. So um, I'm really excited. Um, it's kind of like the one last big uh, hoorah, I guess you'd say. So um, just excitement and I don't think I'm nervous, just excited. So. Lee's first matchup will be against Nikolai Benko of Service. Lee's will not be the lone wolf from West Valley, though. Some other members of the pack will be joining him on the road to Anchorage. Brandon Van Landingham and Brian Ely also got the top seed in the boys' double bracket. The two play their first matchup tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. We've been playing together for going on two years now, so we've started to know each other inside out. And like I know when he's down, I can try and get him up. He knows when I'm down, he can try and get me up. And I think we just use our intimacy to just bring it together. Van Landingham says the chemistry between Ely and himself is at a good place. At times we have some rough patches, but we really know each other. We know how to calm each other down. We know how to talk to each other on the court. And I feel like that's really good communication. That's really what one is this. And both say they know competition is only going to get tougher. Definitely going to state, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to be able to hit back balls that are hit a lot harder than that because down at state, they don't play in Anchorage. Lathrop's Amelia Helms-Leslie will be at states this weekend as well. She got the number two seed in girls' singles. And West Valley's Trent Chu and Teresa Sample are sitting at the top of the bracket in mixed doubles. Reporting, I'm Mike Fussell. And postseason high school football is kicking off tomorrow across the state. Diamond and Colony will be one of only two Friday night games. Colony took the Rail Belt Conference title this year. The rest of the weekend's round one matchups will take place on Saturday. In the large school bracket, Lathrop will host West Anchorage at 5 o'clock, and the Wolf Pack will be traveling to take on a tough East Anchorage team at 2. And after a single game hiatus, the North Pole Patriots will be up against Kenai for a medium school semifinal matchup. And of course, last but not least, the small school division number one in the Aurora Conference, Eilson, is welcoming the Homer Mariners. Tune in Saturday for the latest results at 6 and 11. And the Alaska Nanooks hockey team will be headed deep into Seawolf territory this weekend for the 25th annual Kendall Hockey Classic. But they won't meet up with UAA quite yet. The Nooks will play on neutral ice against St. Cloud State tomorrow night. They will challenge Arizona State the following day. Alaska Anchorage will play those two teams as well. The Nanooks and the Sea Wolves will not see each other until the first series of the Gov Cup, and that's in mid-December. At last year's Kendall Hockey Classic, UAF finished on top against Maine and Wisconsin, who flew up to the last frontier. The Nanooks got a slight upper hand over number 10 ranked Wisconsin, one to nothing, and beat Maine by a multi-point deficit. All right, that about wraps us up for sports tonight. Mike Schultz is up with next with your full weather forecast. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you tomorrow.